everybody, welcome back to the show. It smells delicious in here, and it's not you. Does it ever? <laughs> uh, it's partly me, I think, <laughs> but definitely not all. Uh, Ricardo Sheva is joining us, chef, owner, and Sue Miller, uh, co-owner and maitre d', the hostess with the mostest at the beautiful and delicious Ricardo's Mediterranean Kitchen in Kelowna. Hi, you guys. Welcome, both of you. Hello, you. Now, I was just telling you, Sue, that I snuck in there in, in the summer. It was my first time, and it was unbelievable. Maybe tell us about Ricardo's a little bit first before we get Absolutely. Cooking. Well, we opened 10 years ago in the north end of Kelowna, yeah. and in the most obscure location, I think if you were You guys games, are a little away from oh, stuff. it's like, instead of Where's Waldo, it's called Where's Ricardo's. <laughs> and it's actually, crazy. you win a prize if you find us. Yeah. Oh, we're packed every single night. Yeah, it's amazing. We took uh, Best Restaurant again this year, Best Restaurant for Central Okanagan. Ricardo took top three chefs in this year. Nice. And we took Greenest Business Award this year. Congratulations. And, uh, thank you. Ricardo, you guys are really proud of all that, but it's interesting, the Greenest thing, I mean, I've seen videos you guys talk about that, and, and how much of that plays into the philosophy of, of Ricardo's in general, right? Well, uh, pretty much. I mean, it's, it's important that you sort of uh, are, are doing this today, and yeah. everyone's sort of getting on board, and we're we're uh, lucky to be sort of one of the pioneers in the Okanagan for Very starting. Very cool. And making delicious yeah. food. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be making the prawns today. Sure. Uh, tell us about this recipe. Well, these are Perno prawns. They're a big hit at the restaurant, one of our best sellers. And basically what we use is uh, uh, prawns I'm going to be doing with a little bit of Perno, which is a French liqueur. Are we going to set them um, on fire? We, we're going to try, yes. yes. If I have, the, if yeah. I get a, enough heat with this little stove here, they'll set yeah. on All fire. Right, well, let's Fiona's fire got it lots off. of hairspray in today, too, so this could go exceedingly and well. And your has hazmat suits. Just stand back a bit. Awesome. Now, sure. your family is Italian, of course, and yes. it's all about the sauce and the meatballs. Tell us about uh, what smells so amazing over here. Mm -hmm. The mother sauce. Well, I made I made some meatballs for you guys to taste today. The, the process is a little long, so I didn't want to I yeah. didn't want to do it here for the show, but I wanted you to taste them because they are Mike, absolutely... Mike, have you had one yet? No, you had one in your They are to die for. That is the definition of that's amore right there. Right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, he just died. We wanted to open a restaurant and actually just call it Polpetta. But, but only your sister would have come Little out. meatball. <laughs> Little meatball. <laughs> meatball. Little meatball. Mm. What are some of the most popular items at the restaurant, Ricardo? Well, the spaghetti and meatballs, of course. Classic. Are, are definitely popular. Uh, we also have something that is uh, not Italian that is one of our most popular dishes. It's the blackened prime rib. And it's oh, uh, yeah. and it's just a fantastic uh, dish that everyone orders and 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 it's it's especially the guys. The well, guys love the prime rib. I, I know where the picture of it is in that book too, man. Because I, I was. It is like it. food porn. I'm going to tell you right yeah. now. It is like food porn. What is your favorite thing to have at the restaurant? Right there. And this oh. is the best one. I'm going to say I probably am the biggest fan of the blackened prime rib. And I do look love a, a good meatball. You can't go wrong with a meatball, but look at that sauce. It's now, like the lava. We should probably mention that you guys made mini polpetta. Yes, today. ours are usually the size of a good, uh, a good golf meatball. Ball. <laughs> good meatball. It's a two biter for sure, if not a three biter. Um, you know, anytime you look at Ricardo's food or smell his food, you're not refusing to, to try any of it. Yeah. At, ever. Yeah. And you know that old saying, behind every successful man is a woman? Yes. <laughs> well, behind every successful chef is a woman who owns a pair of Spanx. <laughs> right here. Especially if they cook like you. Absolutely. Now, what did you add to the prawns here? Just a little bit of uh, butter for now. I want you to throw in this is a right here. Is this here. one that's going to go on fire? Yes. Okay, I'm going to put my hair back here. Sure. There's just a lot. Put it in there. I'll hold okay. your hair, girl. Just, just go ahead, ahead, quickly. There we go. Oh, oh look Wow. At hey, that's, that's almost, actually almost a record. I'll worry about that up there. Sorry, yeah, city of Vancouver coming in. Sue, so how much do you guys enjoy this whole process? Because when I was there, uh, there's an ambiance that you can't, you can't create really. It has to happen, right? I mean, and, and there's an atmosphere in there that just felt so inclusive and so family and just... Well, it is family. You know, our kids all work for the restaurant. Do they our... have a choice? No, no one has a choice. <laughs> if they want to eat or sleep in the house tonight, they have to be a bus boy or a bus girl by the age of 13 or in the dish pit. Our, Ricardo's mom and dad are really involved. She hand rolls the meatballs, 300 a week. Wow. Ricardo's dad grows the organic garden for us. And honestly, it is like a family. My son-in-law is the bar manager, and they just had a baby, my oldest daughter and him together. So we are expanding the family in <laughs> Ricardo's. And every staff stays with us for years, yeah. for years. And, and is they become it the family. family recipes? Do they come? Because you guys, Absolutely. of course, are from Italy. Everybody's yes. got their family you dedicate sauces. dedicate the book to your mom. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the recipes are there are, are directly my mother's. Some some aren't in, in, the, in the restaurant on the menu, but definitely ones that we eat on a weekly basis. Uh, once a week, we still go over to my parents' house for the family dinner, and there's about 10 or 11 of Does us. Does your mom ever do quality control and make sure that you get it just right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, what if we add it to the prawns here? We just after after, uh, after you put it in the perno, with just a little bit of flavoring with chili peppers, salt and pepper, and parsley. Oh, that sounds delicious. And a little bit of heavy cream to, re to reduce, and they're pretty nice. much ready. They're pretty much good to go. Uh, you bet. And Quick and easy. So you guys, I mean, you have the great fortune of, of being in an area that's so seeped in, in the culture of wine and food mm -hmm. and all Are we kind of ever? Stuff. How much inspiration do you take from just where you live and where you guys well, are? Well, and that's the reason business? we moved. I'm a Vancouver girl, born and raised. So when we decided to go and open our first restaurant, on our way we went to the Okanagan, surrounded by lakes, wineries, orchards, yeah. and, and, and honestly, meatballs. and meatballs. <laughs> but it's at our fingertips. We use the farmer's market, we work with the local orchardist, and we actually don't really even use the store ever. And that's yeah. part of the it's thing amazing. about real Italian cooking too. It is about yeah, the, sure. getting the right tomatoes for the sauce to taste just right. Absolutely. Very Absolutely. cool. Well, if you Very want nice. uh, some great recipes, guess what? Ricardo and Sue will be at Black Bond mm. Books in Samyamu Mall in White Rock signing for you from noon to 1.30 on Tuesday, November the 15th. And the cookbook is available at your local bookstore. Of course, you can go to their website to find out more information. We're going to have to take a break so we can eat here, people. That's all that's going to happen. Gonna Thank you so much, break. you guys. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to take a quick break, and when we return, we're going to be joined by, well, I'm going to call the music icons, Dal Richards and Jim Burns, right after this. Don't Talking go away. About the Yale.